I'm just going to offer a short update then in terms of arrangements that have been put in place and progress has been made to uh, deliver a great integrated health and social care services. Uh, a strategic commission group uh, reported to health and welfare goals have been set up and that involves both the local authorities and the commission group. And the key aim of that really is to ensure that all key commissioning decisions and how we use our resources are um, So created a, a broader strategic group uh, called Vision 2018. That's really important because bringing together commissioners and providers in, in one place to uh, ensure that everybody in the health and social care economy is working together to um, understand the implications of the big financial challenges that we've got across all organisations and to drive change uh, around the set of the next stream. So each each organisation that is leading the work stream or uh, contributing to the field of work stream. So that's something I'm sure we'll be pleased to come back in and report on uh, here. Um, now that uh, Vision 2018 might take place in the Health and Wellbeing Board and will be directly accountable to the Health and Wellbeing Board. Just in relation to, because part of this question is obviously about the finances, and uh, just in relation to um, uh, before, I guess funding reform is it? very important part of that. Um, uh, and actually a, a fund has been set up called the Integrated Transformation Fund. Um, uh, that's made up of, um, um, it's set in 2014-15, made up of the previous money that's been transferred from uh, the NHS to local authorities of 900 million. And uh, maybe we should see them across the country, obviously not all that. It would be nice if it was. It's based on their two-year allocations, um, but for 2015 the rules have been changed significantly, and a larger share of the funding has been put together, which will include um, some things that haven't previously been uh, worked together by the health and social care, things like uh, capital funding for disabled facilities grants, and uh, the carers breaks funding has previously gone to the CTG uh, separately. Um, start to get to be a bigger pot. However, from that year, there will be um, performance um, related in terms of the money coming down to the centre. And that's a risk for us because it's money that's already been spent in a number of different ways. So as a set of organisations, 